So the next one uh, is the GP report writer. And what I'm going to say here is this has become less and less of an important tool, but it does still serve a purpose for us. Uh, there are over 600 out-of-the-box reports that come with the GP report writer. Um, it, it does, unlike Management Reporter, it does require a GP concurrent user license um, because you're actually working inside of Dynamics GP. Um, what we're finding is over the last many years, uh, these reports are being duplicated or replaced with SQL reporting services, which I'm going to talk about, Excel or Word. So we do also have Word templates that allow us to do purchase orders and, and sales uh, invoices, etc., that normally would have been formatted uh, using the uh, Dynamics GP report writer. Um, one thing to keep in mind is even if you do choose for your forms to use Word templates, you still need to use the Dynamics GP report writer to set the base of what fields are included on the report. So just keep that in mind. But really, uh, the GP report writer today is commonly used for just business forms uh, if you're using the standard or for modifying existing reports. Um, in regards to ease of use, I would say it's moderate to difficult. It never was uh, a real glamorous uh, financial or, or reporting tool at all. Uh, and typically, uh, it's a technical user uh, or an advanced, uh, someone very uh, report savvy that use the GP report writer. It's not as easy to use as maybe some of the more modern report writers. Uh, so in the, in the real world, some examples that we might see is uh, this is pretty common to see people adding maybe additional aging buckets to their payables or receivables trial balance, adding some standard text to their invoice, um, maybe moving fields on the check document to fit pre-printed check stock, etc. So those are some examples of where we would uh, commonly see the Dynamics GP report writer. And this is just a screenshot of what it looks like. Uh, you can launch the GP report writer directly off of the Dynamics menu under File. And, uh, and uh, then under Customization, you can select the report writer. Um, and um, one thing to keep in mind is, is that those reports that you modify, when you upgrade, you need to make sure that uh, all of those uh, migrate the way they're supposed to. So keep that in mind for those of you that are uh, contemplating or moving to a new version. 